over here and say, God, I'm entering into an eternal consecration because I'm ready to move the power. Somebody say, I'm ready to move the power. I'm ready to move the power. I'm ready to have a power like this stacked up in my living room, stacked up in my prayer closet. You don't hear what I'm saying. The stack like this don't just belong in the church. You should have one in your prayer closet. Your walls in your prayer closet ought to be covered with prayer requests and, and pictures and, and, and all kind of people mailing you. Oh, come on here, somebody. Your own prayer closet ought to be filled with people's t-shirts and towels. The Holy Ghost told me tonight to ask you, Pastor, before I leave this city, Get me one of your son's t-shirts Because I'm talking about real intercession now I'm not talking about somebody who I'm praying for No, 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 no He said it's time now for that to be moved It's time for the power to be moved It's time for the power of issues in our life to be moved It's time for the power of issues in our church to be moved Are you hearing what I'm saying? God said go out of here Collecting stuff Asking people that you know that need deliverance Give me a pair of your pants Give me a pair of your shirt Give me your t-shirt. Let me hold on to an old tie because I'm going to hold it up in prayer. I'm going to pray over there's my connection. You don't get what I'm saying to you. It's not just for him to have people to send in handkerchiefs. But honey, let me tell you something. We better start collecting ties and shirts and shoes and socks. Oh, come on here, somebody. You ought to say, look, Pastor, I'm bringing a pair of my son's socks. I just want you to pray over his basketball jersey. I just want you to pray over his basketball shirt. I want you to take the sweatband that he wears around his head when he played tennis because I want him to be delivered. Who am I preaching to tonight? Never go to war. Never go to war without a trumpet. Because remember, if you don't have consecration, you can't move the power. If consecration is not in your life, you cannot move that power. Because the things that need to be moved in our lives are spiritual. If we can't move them in the flesh, but the scripture said as I leave this floor, Romans 1 presents your body a living sign holy and acceptable under God follow the pattern here the ram went on the altar in Genesis with Abraham the ram went on the altar in Leviticus for consecration and purification the lamb once again went on the cross <laughs> and died for our sins. Now in order for us to house the power of that lamb, we got to put ourselves on the altar as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, not as a every year event, but as your reasonable service. He said to me, stop making consecration something special. Every January, the whole church consecrate. No, make it eternal. <laughs> Not eventful. Around Easter time, we all go fast for seven days to the Passover night. Eternal. Make consecration a lifestyle. Make prayer your living quarters. And if you make consecration a lifestyle and prayer your living quarters, your trumpet will never fail you. What a word. Your trumpet will never, what comes out of your mouth will never let you down. Now, whatsoever I say I shall have, See, we got that all mixed up. Whatever you speak, you're going to have it. Whatever you say, he ain't talking to you. Unpurified self. He talking to this pattern right here. You follow this pattern, and then whatsoever you say, you shall have. Then you shall speak those things would be not as though they were. Then 
your mouth can transform. Then you can create with your mouth. Then is life in the power of your tongue. Your trumpet has no business failing you. And if you've been praying something and speaking something and it has not come to pass, then go back and add consecration and then blow again. <laughs> God, I love that. God, I love that, Pastor. God, that just did something down in my spirit. I felt chills go all down my legs. If it ain't working, go back and get consecration and be in traffic again. And every time you speak it, every time you shout, you don't get no results. Go back to consecration. Because one of these days, you're going to purify to a level where your trumpet going to work. Before I take my seat, turn and tell your neighbor, when I leave out of this place, I got to get my trumpet to work. <laughs> so I, I got to get my trumpet to work. Mama, I got to get it to work. It, it, it works sometime. But, but, but tell somebody, and you know what? When I leave out of here tonight, I'm going home back to wherever I came from. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm, next year, my trumpet going to be working. I got to get my trumpet to work it. I, look, I got too many situations, too many issues. Come on, tell your neighbor that. I got too many situations, too many issues, too many family members that I bound up, too many things that I want God to break open. I got to go back and get consecrated because you know what? Matter of fact, tell them about this time tomorrow, my trumpet going to start working. I don't know about y'all. Tell somebody my soul is saying yes tonight. Tell your neighbor my soul is saying yes tonight. And tell your neighbor by this time tomorrow, my trumpet is going to start working. God, I wish somebody would just shout right there. I just wish somebody would shout right there. I gotta help you. I gotta help you. Tashana, let me help her. I'm gonna say it again. Some of y'all look confused when I said that. By this time tomorrow, my trouble gonna be working. Because I keep trying to tell you it ain't days, it's a decision. You can't do 21 days for this. You can't do 40 days for this. This is a decision. And if you make the decision tonight that I'm going to live a life of consecration, then your trumpet will work by this time tomorrow. I just wish somebody would just grab that and just start praising it. Move. Yeah, you're going to be doing stuff like that. Get out of my way. Hey, I rebuke you. Devil, shut up. Come out of here. And he's coming out now, not tomorrow, now. Get out of my finances. Get out of my church. Get out of my members. Take your hands off of my children. And I'm not talking about next week. I'm talking about now. Come on, here, somebody. Tell somebody, I feel my trumpet starting to work already. Tell somebody, I feel my trumpet starting to work already. It's already starting to work. Because I'm already getting my spiritual authority. I'm already speaking with holy boldness. Tell the devil, come out, come out. Come out of my son. Take your hands off of my finances. Your trumpet is working right now. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. All over this building. Some people, I'm looking at him. I'm seeing the Holy Ghost. Oh, son, lift your hands, son. In that black suit. Oh, I just heard the Holy Ghost that I'm transforming you. I'm transforming you into consecration. I'm transforming you. Come on, receive it. Receive it and your trumpet will work tonight. Uh, uh. 